Hey there, mama friend, and welcome to the 5-Minute Mom Podcast, where we'll talk about real life, real faith, real fast. For today's show notes or to get free Monday mom devotionals, visit audrahaney.com. Hey friends, happy new year. I cannot believe that it is 2019. Time is flying by so fast. And I don't know about you guys, but I love the beginning of the year. I love fresh starts and setting intentions and planning and dreaming up new goals. I think all of those things are really healthy and resets are really great and necessary to keep moving forward. And they can be really God honoring if done right. But if If I'm honest, this is the time of year when it's really easy for me to move into an attitude of striving, to try harder, to try to be a, quote, better version of me. And of course, this all comes wrapped up with a nice little bow that looks a lot like the fear of failure. I looked at the definition for striving today, and one definition is to struggle or fight vigorously. And I immediately had a mental picture of swimming against a violent current or Paul's analogy in 1 Corinthians about beating the air. And I'm not saying that effort or endurance or discipline is bad. Those are good things. But when we strive in our own effort, when we beat the air, when we fight the waves, to change what only God can change, to control what only God can control, our focus becomes ourself. And our efforts aren't about God and His glory, and all of our fighting is actually in vain. I adore what the message version of what Jesus said in Matthew eleven twenty-eight through 30 says. Are you tired? Are you worn out? Are you burnt out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me and watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Isn't that amazing? So if there are things that you want to see change in the new year, here's five quick reminders to keep you from striving. Number one, your life should be about God's glory and not your definition of success. I love what one of my friends posted on her Instagram on New Year's Day, 2019 perspective shift. It's not about what you can do. It's about what God can do in and through you. Number two, stop trying to simply modify your behaviors. Behind every destructive behavior in our life, there is a heart issue, and only Jesus deals with heart issues, not routines, not processes, or trying harder. Stop plowing down the fruit when what you really need to do is pull up the whole root from the very bottom. Look at your hardest issues and ask God to pull it up for you. Number three, it seems really simple, but let's seek God first. Ultimately, whatever we think will make us happy outside of God will not. It will never be enough. We see this in the world every day. The richest, the skinniest, the most beautiful, the most powerful people can still be miserable outside of God. But God says in Matthew 6, seek first the kingdom of heaven and all of these things will be added to you. The good things, the beautiful things, the healthy things, the things God knows you really need. One of my prayers for 2019 is Jesus, don't let me miss anything you have for me this year. Don't let me miss a moment of you because I know that is what will make me the happiest. Number four, Be mindful of your season. Don't try to force something if it's not God's timing. And remember that even the right thing at the wrong time is still the wrong thing. If God has truly ordained something for you since the beginning of the world, you don't have to be afraid that you'll miss it. And lastly, number five, talk to God like a friend. Share with him. He's the giver of infinite wisdom. Ask him what your goals should be. Ask him to show you who you already are in Christ. He knows you better than anyone else. Ask him to heal you. If you want to see something change this year, 
Ask God to do the impossible and keep asking and keep knocking. Remember, your greatest breakthroughs will not come through striving. That beating the wind, swimming against a current that's way too powerful for you. They'll only come with asking, trusting, resting, and renewing your mind. It's going to be a great year, you guys. Not because we are great, but because God is. Well, that's the end of our five minutes. Thank you so much for joining us. If you would like to get show notes delivered straight to your inbox every week with related scriptures, guest information, and important links, you can sign up today at audrahaney.com. There's a form that says, join the five minute mom tribe. If you sign up there, they'll automatically be sent to you. And if you enjoyed today's episode, would you please consider leaving a quick review? Reviews are so important for podcasters and they help more moms find us and it would be a great blessing.